In this video, we will fold a simple origami fish from a blintz fish base. We begin by forming the blintz. When you form a blintz, you fold all four corners to the center of the sheet. I'm going to fold them to the back and center. So here is a line that will divide the corners so it folds to the back. If you turn the paper over, you can see that all four corners meet in the center. Now we treat this as if it was a single sheet of paper and we fold a blintzed base. There is going to be one difference, however, in that we're going to bring the flaps from the back around as we fold. First I'm going to fold this diagonal line that goes down the center. <clears throat> Next I'm going to bring this edge to the center of the paper and I'm going to roll it there and flip out the back edge. Let me do that again. I roll it around to the side, towards the center and flip out the back edge. And then I push it down and I'm going to fold from just here to here. So I'm going to decrease from just this point to this point along the edge. Then I'm going to, I fold it back. So I folded this line from here to here. Next I'm going to fold this line from here to here. And again, I roll the paper, allowing the back flap to come around and pull it to the center along this line. Once I've done that, I can bring both edges around and start to bring the edge to the center and crease the center line like that. Now, I'm not going to fold any lines in here. I'm just going to leave that curved. So that this point sticks up in the air. I'm going to turn around and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to fold along this line. Remember the flat flips out from the back. The flap flips out from the back on the other side. I fold this crease right here on that line. Now, at this point I'm going to bring the sheet of paper together. And I have my blinced fish base. Next, I'm going to locate the part of the fold that's going to be the, the fin of the fish, and that's this top there. You notice there's no fin on the bottom, there's one fin on the top. So this line only occurs on the top of the sheet, and it occurs on both sides of the page. So I'm going to fold that flap down along that line. And to turn it over, fold this down along that line. Next, I'm going to fold this line and I'm going to fold it inside the paper. So I'm going to fold it inside the paper like this. So that the fin sticks up in the air. I'm going to turn that over and do that on the back. I'm going to fold along this line, leaving this line folded. And the fin will stick up in the air. And there's the top fin of our fish. Now I'm going to fold this bottom line here inside the paper like that. Let's do that again. I bring it over and I bring this 
this edge to the center line then fold it back over and I have my flap inside. Let's do this on the other side. Now we're going to fold the fish's mouth and this is the fish's mouth here. And we're going to fold the flap here along this line over. And fold all the layers to one side and do the same thing with the top. And you can see it looks something like, like lips. I'm going to turn the paper over, unfold those two folds and refold them in the opposite direction. Then I bring the folds back together. Now I folded it in both directions, in this direction and back in this direction. Now I'm going to reach inside the fish's mouth, find the folds that I just created and bring them forward and out. And there's the bottom of the fish's mouth. I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. Reach inside the mouth, open up the mouth, locate where the lips are, and fold the lips outward, bring the lips back together, and there's the lips of our fish. The only thing we need to finish now is the tail fin. The tail fin consists of these folds here. And I'm going to begin by creasing this line here towards the back. And I'm going to also crease this line towards the back. As I do, I pinch this edge. Let's take a look at that on the inside. You can see what it looks like on the inside. Here it is on the outside. Let's do that again. Fold this to the back, fold this to the back, pinch along this edge. Then bring that fin up on one side or the other. It doesn't matter which side. You can bring it up like that or you can bring it down like that. It doesn't which, matter which way you go. One side or the other. And we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the back. We bring this line towards the back, holding along that line, pinching along this edge, hold this line to the back. This time we want to bring this fin up in the opposite direction. And I'm going to turn it over, and there's my completed fish. Now you might like to make an adjustment in the tail. Perhaps you would like these tail fins to be angled more towards the back. If you do, hold it tightly right in front of the tail fin and pull on the tail fin towards the back until it's at the angle you like and then pinch the tail together to hold it. Then do the same thing with the bottom fin. Pull it out and pinch the tail fins together. And there we have our tail fins at a slightly different angle. You might like that, the way that looks, a little bit better. And there is our completed origami fish from a blinced fish base. Let's compare this fold to the same identical fold folded with a simple uh, fish base. Not a blinced fish base, but a simple fish base. And let's see the differences.